Broadband. The untold story of the women who made the internet by Claire L. Evans, is a comprehensive and engaging history of the women who have played essential roles in the development of the internet. The book chronicles the stories of these pioneers, from their early lives and formative experiences, to their groundbreaking contributions and lasting legacies. Evans argues that the internet, often perceived as a male-dominated domain, is in fact the product of a diverse group of individuals, including many women who have been overlooked or underappreciated by history. The book begins by exploring the historical context that gave rise to the internet, focusing on the post-World War II era when computing technology began to rapidly evolve. Evans highlights the role of women in this period, noting that they were disproportionately represented in the field due to factors such as their access to education and their interest in service-oriented professions. These women, often referred to as computer bunnies, worked as programmers, operators and analysts, laying the foundation for the Internet's development. One of the key figures in this early period was Grace Hopper, a naval officer who was credited with developing one of the first programming languages, COBOL. Hopper's work on compiler technology made it possible for programmers to write code that could be easily translated into machine-readable code, streamlining the programming process and making it more accessible to a wider range of Evans also discusses the role of women like Annie Easley, a nuclear physicist who worked on spacecraft systems, and Francis E. Holberton, one of the original programmers of the ENIAC computer in advancing computing technology during this time. As the internet began to take shape in the 1960s and 1970s, women continued to play essential roles. Evans profiles figures like Radia Perlman, who developed the Spanning Tree Protocol, a critical component of modern network routing, and Jake Feinler, who wrote the first comprehensive guide to debugging computer programs. These women, along with many others, worked tirelessly to refine and improve upon the emerging technology, often facing discrimination and sexism in the process. The book also delves into the development of the personal computer, PC, and the role of women in this movement. Evans highlights the work of Lisa Capezio, who designed the first mass-marketed PC, the Xerox 820, and Kay McNulty, one of the original ENIAC programmers who went on to become a key figure in the development of early PC technology. Other notable figures include Margaret Hamilton, who led the team that developed the onboard flight software for the Apollo moon missions, and Mary Haas, who designed the first microprocessor-based personal computer, the Alto. As the internet began to mature and its impact on society became more apparent, women continued to make significant contributions. Evans discusses the role of women in the development of the World Wide Web, such as Vint Cerf and Tim Berners-Lee, who co-invented the TCP-IP protocol that underlies the internet, and Radia Perlman, who developed the Spanning Tree Protocol, a critical component of modern network routing. She also highlights the work of women like Betty Cooper, who helped standardize HTML and developed the first web browser for the Macintosh, and Shafi Goldwasser, who pioneered cryptography research and helped develop secure communication protocols for the internet. Throughout the book, Evans emphasizes the importance of community and collaboration among women in the development of the internet. She discusses groups like the Women's Technical Reception at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory, which provided a supportive network for female scientists, and the Association for Women in Computing, which advocated for greater representation and equality in the field. These communities not only provided emotional support, but also facilitated the sharing of knowledge and resources, accelerating the pace of innovation. The book concludes by examining the ongoing challenges faced by women in the technology industry, including gender bias, unequal pay, and a lack of representation in leadership positions. Evans argues that in order to create a more inclusive and equitable future for all, it is essential to acknowledge and celebrate the contributions of women like those profiled in broadband. She calls for greater efforts to promote diversity and inclusion in the tech sector, including initiatives like mentorship programs, targeted recruitment, and the elimination of systemic barriers that prevent women and other underrepresented groups from entering and succeeding in the field. In summary, broadband is an engaging and thought-provoking history of the women who have played essential roles in the development of the Internet. Through meticulous research and compelling storytelling, Evans brings to light the often overlooked contributions of these pioneers, highlighting their resilience, ingenuity, and lasting impact on our modern world. By shedding light on the diverse array of women who have shaped the internet, the book not only corrects a historical injustice, but also offers valuable lessons about the importance of inclusion, collaboration, 
and the power of persistence in driving innovation. I don't know